Hello folks, I'm OdinSpack33, and welcome back to Let's... I keep saying Let's Play again. It's not Let's Plays anymore. Super Mario Advance 4, the e-reader levels. Last time we did levels 1 through 5. Today it's time... Well, we'll get as many as we can get in. Uh, today's actually a rush day for me. I feel really bad for doing this, but I'm really trying to get this up for, um... For 12, and by getting hit and dying is definitely going to make this less likely to happen, so... I gotta be playing this a little more safe. But this is Magical Note Blocks. Uh, yeah, I gotta leave soon. <laughs> I had an episode like this uh, back when I did New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I don't know, it, it turned out kind of bad now that I'm thinking about it. But no, I really want to get this out. So I'm gonna try my best here to make, uh, you know, good commentary at the same time as, you know, leaving on time. So magical note blocks. This features a lot of note blocks, um, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I, there's another level like this. I think I prefer it a lot more to this one because uh, it's an actual stage and not just going up in note blocks. Uh, actually, there's a star man over here. Yeah, but I'm gonna totally just neglect. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Do you need it? Probably not. I think the only use this might have if I can get up there in time is, yeah, this is Fire Chomp. A uh, correction I wanted to make, I can't remember the username that said it. I wanted to reply to the comment, but it wouldn't let me on YouTube. Is that these gold coins that were, I was calling Ace Coins are actually called Advanced Coins, like I wanted to call them in the first place. Ace Coins are from uh, the first Super Mario Advance, the red ones that have the A on it. They are actually called Ace Coins, but these versions here are called Advanced Coins, so that's pretty cool. Which means that they are actually a mix between the Ace Coins from Mario Advance and the Dragon Coins. So that's kind of neat that you combine the two together. There's something different. But they're definitely rem rem ah, reminiscent of both uh, the Advance Coins and... Sorry, the Ace Coins and the Dragon Coins. Alright, so the first level we did Magical Note Blocks. That was part of the Series 1 e-reader pack. This is part of Series 2, the old switcheroo. I already got hit already. I don't think there's anything over here. I think it's like a coin block or something. I I keep thinking, uh, yeah, there's some coin blocks here. I don't know if there's anything actually up here. I'm maybe maybe get a P switch, a P switch, a uh, get a leaf or some P wing. I don't know. Oh, the first first advanced coins actually in there. I almost missed out on that. But anyway, uh, this level, the old switcheroo, features switches, uh, more easily done with Super Mario, as opposed to regular Mario. Uh, but you want to hit this P-switch here, because it'll give you some time to get through this pipe here, which actually features two of the advanced coins. A completely optional area, but we want to get all the advanced coins, right? So, uh, first one, pretty simple to get. Second one, I wouldn't say it's, like, hard to get, but it's definitely pretty hidden, so, like, there's actually a gap you can jump up here, which is kind of hard to see with all, like, the the menu stuff at the top there kind of in the way. So, kind of difficult to see, but kind of clever. Uh, nothing we haven't really seen yet in any other Mario game in this level. Uh, we're about to see more instance of the uh, vegetables. Let's call them plants. They're definitely vegetables. I mean, I guess vegetable is a plant, but regardless, it's still a vegetable. So, I kind of feel really dumb for calling them plants. I'm also gonna take this time to plug that I got a 12-hour stream coming up uh, this week, and you gotta use the, the vegetable here to get this e-coin here, which is a star man. I got a 12-hour stream coming up on Sunday. There should be a actual um, video promoting it uh, later today, uh, and I'm, it'll be ridiculous and everything. But in case you don't see that, in case you see this, um, it'll be on Sunday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, just check out uh, twitch.tv slash odinspack for the deets. Where is this? Seriously, I'm going to hit all of them except the actual one-up mushroom? Right, I just wanted to show that. That's there. I mean, these are still levels. They're going to have little secrets like that, you know? So I like that. And we got a straight with the cards. Still good to just one one-up. <laughs> one one-up. One-up. But yeah, so twitch.tv slash odinspack this Sunday. And actually, I think if you get a certain amount of uh, advanced coins, it actually opens up these uh, mushroom houses. So I guess 30 opened up this one here. I th or maybe a, a certain amount of levels, but I think it I think it is advanced coins. 
All right, so we'll play this. This is what you use your coins for. I mean, you have a ton here. And this is how you can actually earn some items without the e-reader coins. Uh, this one is actually completely luck-based. So if we actually get the treasure chest. Oh, we did. Nice. So you got one in four shot. There, are Two of them are luck-based. The other one isn't. And it's probably the best way to earn items through these uh, mushroom houses here. Or toad houses, sorry. But anyway, let's go on to level 8. Another series 1 card, Pipe Full of Plants. This one's actually really tough. Uh, I got a leaf here. It should help, provided I use it correctly. But uh, this is a very tough level here. Uh, especially if you just have small Mario. I've done it, but it's difficult. There we go. But yeah, these uh, Venus Fire Traps here. Uh, make this really difficult. I think they've since uh, changed the name of these guys. I can't remember what they've changed it to. Alright, but that's definitely the hardest part right out of the way there. And this uh, change block that's out of Mario Advance 2 here, uh, unlike Advance 2 and, and Mario World, I guess in general, sorry, uh, when you hit the item out of there, uh, it doesn't continue to change on uh, in the overworld. It just stays as that item. Whereas in Mario World, it continued to change. But anyway, a relatively short level, but definitely a tough one. Also, those sideways Venus fire traps are also unique uh, to this game, actually. Completely unique to Advance 4. Uh, they're not in any other Mario game. Hopefully, we see those in Mario Maker. That'd be pretty cool. But anyway, uh, the last two levels are more Series 2 e reader levels. Actually, the last ones. I actually looked it up. There wasn't a classic level that came with Series 2. Uh, and we got straight up some Mario World and original Mario uh, stuff there. We had the Buzzy Beetles, or the I think they're called Bony Beetles. There's a Thwimp there from Mario World. Sure, we'll get the Fire Flower. And then there was also the Fire Bar. Obviously, it's called Swinging Fire Bars of Doom. Like, that just sounds straight up like... A homebrew level right there. It doesn't even sound like a real Mario level. But it is. Uh, and I I like the fire bars in this version. They are a lot more <laughs> 60 FPS. They they move a lot nicer. Uh, much more fluid motion. I like it. It's it's really it's really good. Uh, and there is a little sparky from Mario World. Like I said, lots of different enemies from different uh, Mario games in here. And like I said, we were I said we we're gonna see those flippers again, right? Alright, that's that's a pretty tough one right there. But I think there's a mushroom in here, so that's good. We don't really need a power-up for this level. The mushroom's just nice for the extra hit. Uh, there's actually an advanced coin down here. Uh, you gotta hit these coins. This reminds me of Mario World um, Force of Illusion 2, where there's like a one-up that you kind of got to get in a similar fashion. But not actually. You gotta hit the block that's um, the one-up before you trap it up there. But it just reminds me of that. Uh, the rest of this, if we're just careful, uh, there's nothing in that question mark block. That's actually a definite trap. Those boos are going to drive me nuts. That's the rest of the level. We actually had two boom booms. Uh, two boom booms is actually pretty tough if you take them on uh, two at a time. Well, I got hit by one, alright. But if you take them on one at a time, it's boom boom, so... That's all you gotta do. I got hit by one, but just because I kind of got trapped in there. So, you know, technically I could have died because I got hit by Boom Boom, which is pretty lame. But yeah, it's Boom Boom. It's still not tough. Uh, this is the last of the uh, North American release e reader levels here, Parabeetle Challenge. Uh, probably the toughest level, for sure. Um, a level inspired from World 5. There was uh, one Parabeetle level in that uh, world. Uh, but not n nowhere near as intense as this one. Uh, this one is insane. Uh, but it's 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 a good one. I, I like it. It's a nice challenge. I like challenging myself. Uh, so it's a good level. But you gotta be quick here. Uh, you get two para beetles that go right now, and you gotta kind of you kind of kind of jump on them. This is actually really tough uh, without the leaf. Like pretty actually tough. <laughs> Alright, let's just ride this up here, and do that. And I think we want to use the lower one, because, yeah, there's another uh, advanced coin down here. 
You don't want to go too low and zone them off screen. Oh man. Uh. Alright, we're almost. No! I was at the very end, too! Alright, I gotta off screen that. Alright, I'm back. This is about where I died last time. And I'm almost gonna die here again. I don't like zone I don't like zoning off Mario or getting him off screen at this part here. This cause this is insane. We're almost at the end. Alright, we made it. Whew! That was close. That foof is gonna be really loud. There's no Lakitu at the end here. It really feels like there should be Lakitu. Like that's straight up a world five level. Like for sure. But anyway guys, that's been five levels. I think I'm actually gonna end it here just because I am really low on time. On the next part, we're gonna start moving into the non-North American release levels. Uh, someone who did some sort of translation for these, these definitely never had them before. But we'll see those next time. So I've been OwnSpac33. Thanks for watching this relatively short video. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday for more of e-reader. So until then, bye now.